I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV Everywhere you look, there's a heart A hand to hold on to Everywhere you look When you're lost out there Rams and welcome to Ram TV News. I'm Starla France and I'm Nicole Robillard. Today is Friday, April 22nd, 2016. If you will be 16 by June 1st and may be in need of credit, money, or both, apply for Summer Jobs 253. You will earn over $1,200 and receive two credits, so apply as soon as you can. The clothing drive is ending April 29th. Please bring small electronics, clothes, or shoes you would like to donate to rooms 116. All right, class, welcome to Tardy Policy 101. Remember, if you sprinkle when you tinkle, be neat and wipe the seat. Jesus, you're late to my class again. I'm gonna have to make another tally. One more tardiness and I'm gonna call your mom. And don't worry, I have her number on speed dial. All right, class. Now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna discuss what happens when you have one to three tardies. So if you have one to three, I will handle it personally or I will contact home, and your mom will handle it personally. Hi, I'm your uh, teacher today, Noah Ryder. Hi, hi, hi. Today we're uh, on Tardy Policy. We're gonna talk about uh, what happens when you're late four to six times and seven or more times. Okay, so if you're late four to six times, then what you're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna send you down the office, we're gonna contact your house, and you know, got your mom's number on speed dial. Ha 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 You know, several more times, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna have an office referral and they will do what they please uh, with you. Have to do is to send you down to the... Are you late to my class again? Come here. We are gonna go talk to your counselor and call your mother. I'm taking you to the counselor's office. Just remember kids, don't be tardy to class. Today in tardy policy. Oh my Jesus, hey Zeus, you're actually on time today. I'm so proud of you. So proud. Key Club meets Tuesday after school at 2.15 in Miss Solmarin's room. Come and learn about volunteering opportunities and ways to serve our community. Wild Waves is hiring new staff for this summer. Download an application today at wildwaves.com slash jobs. There is an important wrestling meeting today after school in Mr. Wynn's room. All former wrestlers and people interested in wrestling next year must attend. Good morning, Rams. We're back at it again, but not necessarily with the white vans, but with Wilson's Top 10. This week, we let you guys decide what you wanted to see, so let's hop into our countdown of most popular TV shows currently on Netflix. Starting us off at number 10 is Orange is the New Black. This calm drum with three seasons is incredibly intense with sparks of humor. Let me guess, you're all in prison, but you didn't do it. Number 9 is Mad Men. Now, personally, I have no clue what this show is about, but why not give it a shot? I disagree with the fact that it's labeled as one of the greatest shows of all time, considering the fact that it covers the 60s, one of the most boring time periods in existence. At number 8, with an extensive 10 seasons, is Friends. I don't know how this hilarious sitcom won't have you binging for hours. I'll be there for you. That's what a lot of my friends from middle school told me. Both of them are gone now. With four seasons at number 7 is Arrested Development. Once again, I have no clue what the show is about. The show is basically about a rich family going broke. If that somehow sounds interesting, by all means, go ahead and waste your life away and watch this show. Sitting Pretty at number six is Sherlock. This mystery drama has three seasons and is worth a watch. Why would you hire a guy named Benedict Cumberbatch to play the lead role? How much do you want to bet this guy got beat up all throughout school? Smack dab in the middle at number five is Friday Night Lights. This one's for all you football fanatics. 
the fact that this show is based in Texas means you're already in for a real yawn fest. What's so great about Dumble Texas? Number four with four or five seasons up on Netflix is Louie. This American comedy follows the life of Louis C.K. I'm ashamed of you, Mr. Louis C.K. Do you really think a TV show is going to save your stand-up comedy career? Number three is The Walking Dead. Hmm, not surprising. I already went over this before and I don't think I should explain my thoughts on the show again. Runner-up in second place is Freaks and Geeks with only one season. It's truly a great comedy. The show is known for having a cult following. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear cult following, I think it's something weird like a group of old men walking to, into a daycare, sitting on the swing set and eating Cool Ranch Doritos. And last but certainly not least on this top 10 list is Breaking Bad. I guess these five seasons are truly you know addictive. What? I mean, you know what I have to say? I honestly can't say anything bad about this show. If you haven't watched this show, you're really missing out. It's a great show. Tune in next week for top 10 colleges and universities in the U.S. Go Rams! Go Rams! Rams! Rams. So, like, Tolo's tonight. I guess I'm supposed to give a hand on expectations? Give some, uh, hints on how to, uh, not get kicked out. So here we go. As a reminder, based off of the handbook, here are some rules for dances. The school won't be held responsible for your valuables. No small children or infants may come with students. Front to front dancing? If so, no pelvis to pelvis contact and no thrusting. Back to front dancing? Again, there's no thrusting and no buttocks to pelvis contact. And uh, uh, what's this one again? No thrusting of the pelvis. Keep your head above your waist at all times. So if for some reason you have a strange urge to do yoga, go somewhere else, please. No grabbing of the ankles. No lap dances. No dancing on or with the speakers or other props. No dancing on or against the walls. No dancing prone on the ground. Just uh, sailing on, sailing on the higher ground. I don't know if any of this helps, but uh, yeah. tonight from 8 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Make sure you wear your spring break gear, but also make sure it's appropriate. There will be black lights, so be sure to wear white and neon colors. Also, don't forget to have fun. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Ram TV. TV. Have a great weekend. Go Rams! Make a public service announcement. So this is the only time you're gonna even really catch me with my hoodie off, because it's hot out and it is springtime. I wonder if I look like a floating head. <laughs> I feel like I have a booger. I would literally kill Hope if you put that in there. I swear to God, I will come over to you and just strangle you. Ready?